You're both going to write the answer that comes to mind first. Don't look at each other's and then hold them up to the screen so we can see them. Easy enough? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. First question. What's the first thing you're going to buy yourself after Corey wins the Grand Prix? It can be very small. It could be very per something you've always wanted. If, maybe nothing. I'm saying for me, what I'm gonna do or what she gonna buy. No, each of you write what you're gonna get. Okay. For yourselves or for each other, whatever, whatever that might be. That perhaps you haven't told each other yet. And it better not be a tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you guys are ready. You ready? All right, here we go. Three, two. Let's see what you got. A hunting, hunting is that land? land and a house. Hunting <laughs> land and a house. All right. I was thinking sports coat. I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> think. We've been looking for. Yeah, house. we've been looking for a house. So the hunting land is what I'm gonna get. So is a hunting land like an area that has the animals there for you to go hunt? Is that what you? Because I know no, nothing about like property. Land. Just like just a thousand. Just big land. Acres, so I can just go do what I want to do on. What state? I don't know. Probably Indiana, where we're gonna end up living. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next question. Uh, you hear a sound at night. Who jumps up first? Sound downstairs, weird noise. Who jumps first? <laughs> it depends. I tend to miss every noise, and my wife always tells me how I miss every noise. That's why I'm bringing this up. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. And go. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what i expected to be going on if it's a baby noise she gets i can sleep through that all day any funny noises outside or something yeah. I'm up protecting the house so we agree but yeah. different things. So, so i i usually get like pushed when there's a because my wife i feel like she never sleeps uh fully like and she always hears everything that's happening but two days ago my dog started just howling and ran out of the room and went downstairs and I got up and somehow put slippers on and ran downstairs. I didn't wake up until I was downstairs and wonder why, why the hell I followed her. There was nothing going on. She was barking at absolutely nothing. And then I woke up when I walked upstairs. Anyway. Like I said, the baby's making noise. Her. The baby's making noise. She sleep light. Yeah. Like she's up. Yeah. But any other time she's snoring and I can't even get her to wake up. Like, yo, stop. Like I'm not <laughs> like Jenny. She wake up like what? Like you snoring. Like I am. Like, yes. <laughs> like, they don't believe they snore. I know. I know. Yeah, uh, I'm show. Does she believe now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh next question. Who's the better cook? <laughs> I have I feel confidence in that one. Oh. Right, ready when you guys are. Obviously me. All right, all right, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. So, do you hunt anything? Well, I know you hunt and bring home food, but is that like one of your top things to cook, or no? Is that a Corey thing? Um, I'm incorporating it more. It's finding the right recipes, but um, we cook all different things. But venison is something that fuego. I'm learning how to cook, but it's good. It's fuego. <laughs> it's not uh, the easiest to cook. Right, 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 right. Uh, all right. Uh, you're watching a holiday movie. Who gets choked up first? A sappy holiday movie, of course. It could be a happy holiday movie. All right, go. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. He has no feeling. It could be Home first Alone all, and she's going to start crying. I'm emotional. Very. So. <laughs> That's all right. Well, I was watching Marley and Me with my wife one time, and I started like having to. I got to go to the kitchen. Hold on. I haven't Hold watched on. that, but I heard it's. I've had one movie one. we watched. I actually it did jerk a tear before. What movie was that? When you was like, are you still like it was kind of? I don't even think it was a movie. I feel like it was a commercial. It was not with no commercial. Shut up. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Just Damn. Camera. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hunting commercial. You got very. We even long enough to get my feelings aroused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we're halfway here. Uh, who's the most competitive? And not, not, not when it comes to fighting, just in, in general. And go. E Ooh, me and equal. All right. We are equally as competitive. You're just mistaking it that you always win. No, the no, competition. I, mean. I feel like sometimes you like it's not a competition. As for me, I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> everything is a competition. Everything is a competition. Yeah, that's true. You do take everything. <laughs> yeah, we're, I only get mad because I lose. 
I get like my one of my teammates got a daughter who is what a couple of days behind mine, and she did some first. I'm like we got to start training. She's like, it's not a competition. Like, yes, it is. A baby. <laughs> yeah, they like, don't need to like train. <laughs> they train. Him. He trains his daughter. He holds her legs and works her core. There's a time to do that with mine. Got the baby planking. That's hilarious. Uh, who's got who gets more hype when watching a fight? Are you guys big fight watchers? Yeah. Okay. Who gets the most hype? Who's in the corner over there uh, shadow boxing during a fight? Well, shadow boxing is always going to be him, but. Ready? Her, me. All right. Okay. <laughs> Do you get like, like uh, the, the, the anxiousness when the fight's about to start, when it's a fight you've been looking forward to seeing? Yes. You know, that noise, the music that they play in the UFC when the, they're about to announce the tail of the tape. Mm-hmm. It like makes me sick because it reminds me of when you fight. But I, I'm more of a fight fan than Corey is. Yeah, I watch fighting because of my career. I love learning and studying. She just, she gets a point, she gets annoying sometimes, like trying to break down stuff during a fight. I just be like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys argue on opinions during the fights a lot? Like, do you guys have different point of views at all times? No, no? we usually agree okay. on fighting. Okay. I mean, when your husband's like one of the top, it's kind of hard to disagree with what he says. So, I mean, the reason why I'm this Listen. good. <laughs> but you were an you were did you you were an amateur fighter, Jenny, or yeah. did you become pro ever? No, I was amateur. Okay, so, so you have the chops too. So. I started training when Corey did. Oh. So I met. She was the first I person I I'm met when I walked about. into the gym. She was working the front desk. Is this true? And, yeah. Then years later, we ended up. She started her podcast. She asked me to come on. When I was back home visiting and or back in Milwaukee visiting and then uh Yeah, yeah I've been that, doing this for a while. We've been kicking it ever since. And moved to Jersey and that was it. Damn. All right, well that's a good story. Yeah. <laughs> um all right, uh first to cheat on a diet. You've been doing really good. Who's the first one who's gonna break? You're going to say me. I don't know. Because but you don't really diet. Gummy bears is a... Is a cheat. Let them pop out. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. Corey doesn't have the diet super strict. Well, he went from 300 to... What, what, what are you walking around at? Like 220 or something? 235. 235. Is it easy for you to make are 205? Huh? Is it easy for you to make 205? Yeah. I mean, it's discipline. He's not the biggest 205 one. He had to put weight on, so. I used to walk around like 212. Then I started lifting and getting big. And it's mostly I can just get the water weight off pretty because I sweat so much. Yeah. You know, so I just start uptaking my water and taking work out a lot. And it's pretty much just falls off. I wish I could say the same. Uh... Yeah, think about it and it happens. <laughs> oh, stop. Uh, all right, we got three more. Um, Give me two more pages. Maybe. What does Corey do to drive you crazy? So you can vote. <laughs> that was a long answer. Uh. <laughs> she, she needs two papers front and back. Let me see. <laughs> Messy and trail, trail cam. cameras and batteries. So wait, wait, all right. So I mean, the, the trail cameras is like his part time job. <laughs> That contributes to the mess. So he's constantly has packages with cameras to put in the woods and batteries laying everywhere constantly. So that's kind of the right answer. But yeah, it's he's bi- messy it's with everything. I get it's like Christmas every day at my house. So like with the sponsors and people sending me stuff to try. Every time I come home from the train, it's like a bo- porch full of boxes. I just bring them in the house. I either open them and use them or I just leave the boxes there because I know what's in there and I want to put it away. And if I open it, should I just gonna leave this stuff everywhere? So if I leave the boxes just stacked at the door. <laughs> that's my way of I don't have to put them away. Everywhere. I don't know where to put them. So <laughs> the boxes take over the house and she gets really upset. And you just gotta start hiding these cams. Time. As soon as all the boxes come, just hide them in the garage. We'll get to them at some point. But she get there before I do. And then the garage is the gym, and we both use it, so we can't just stack mm. them in there. So we just use the house. Just That's why we there. need a new house. <laughs> <laughs> and more land. And more land. Exactly. <laughs> um, who has the better taste in music? Oh. Ready? Dang. 
man. equal, me. <laughs> wow. You, yeah. You just like old ass Frank Sinatra and <laughs> Billy Hot people that was singing before our parents were alive. <laughs> I like the classics, but I like we, as far as modern music, we yeah. like the same. We music. like the same thing. Old school hip hop. We don't listen yeah. to like, New Day trash. She listens to like old. Yeah, we do have a lot symphony of symphony stuff. Taste. It's like, what are you I listening like to? All right, uh, uh, best old school hip hop artist. Go. What do you like? Well, I mean, are we are we are we Tupac or are we Biggie? What are what are we? Or, or I neither. Like better. I like them both. They told different stories. You know, it's about the story. Not as I don't like rap. There's no story. It's just mumble. Because it depends on what they were rapping about. You know what I mean? Like Nas, like one I like of my Illmatic's one yeah, of the best Nas, albums. Nas, right there. I'm say, Nas would be my favorite, if anything. Really? Yeah, me too. I liked them, but I don't know. There was something about, yeah. I don't know. I'm a Tupac fan. My wife likes Biggie. So there's always that I want you to go back and listen to Nas Rewind. And just oh, that's fantastic. Where the bullet goes in the gun and the whole deal. But he's singing the song back. In reverse. I know. You know rap a song in reverse and Stupid. everything hit like that. That's when I knew like this dude is crazy. No, he's super talented. He is. But he faded out. He should have kept on going. Yeah, uh, he doesn't have no body Jay-Z. of work. He's no Jay-Z. It's like the quality over but, quantity. Right, 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 right. We're all anti-Kanye, I'm assuming, based on these comments. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> Anti-Kanye. <laughs> I've been rocking a late registration for like the last month. Well, that's, that but, but, that's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I I love old Kanye stuff. The new stuff, okay. I don't know, dude. I can't get behind it. Oh, I like pretty much everything in the 2000s and back. Yeah. After okay. that, it was kind of like hit or miss. I agree. That's when we start sounding old. Just wait until your kids are a little older. How old are your kids? I know you have a baby, but the other one is how old? Two and eight months. Babies. Okay. All right. Yeah. So when they get a little older and you start, you know, talking like old people, you know, back well, in the day. To them already. We already got them listening to the old school. So they're going to, that's the same. I'm the youngest of four. And it's just, I know the music they listen to. My older brothers and sisters grew up too. So I don't know how to understand the new day stuff. I never listened to it. Speaking of, we should have a really good uh, Super Bowl halftime, right? Isn't yeah. this going to be uh, Snoop Dogg and uh, Dr. Dre and stuff? going to be a bunch of people. Oh, yeah, really? That should be good. No, it's, a, think Snoop it's, new album. it's gonna be like five or six people from 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 back in the day. Uh, anyway, all right, last question: most overrated Thanksgiving food. What do you hate? What does everybody like that you hate? I hate cranberry sauce. I'll, I'll put it out there. What? Well, cranberry sauce is a thing you put on the stuffing. It's not so an individual. That a food. It's it's part of the food. Part of the part. Okay, any anything on a on a Thanksgiving table? How about that? <laughs> what do we got? You better not disrespect my children. <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> all right, all right. So explain this to me, because th- is that be what you make? Overrated if people don't like it. Chitlins is the y'all. You probably never heard of chitlins, have you? Oh, I have, but I haven't had it. They fuego. I'm taking the bowl to her aunt the day after Thanksgiving because she's curious. They good. It's a it's a joke. It's a he, delicacy. I, he, he always wants me to make it, and I never make it. But I don't know how. I your mom would have to teach me. It's easy. You too. I also don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> and we get to the truth. That's hilarious. Uh, all right. Listen, we're done with the game. I appreciate you guys being a uh, good sport about it. 